Hi, I'm Pui, a stoma nurse from NUH. In this video, I will teach you the proper care required when using a two-piece system which has a cutting base plate with an open-ended stoma bag. It is called a two-piece system as the skin barrier which is the cutting base plate and the stoma bag are kept separate. Your base plate will need to be changed once every 5-7 to seven days or when leakage occurs. Whichever is earlier and your stoma bag needs to be changed daily. We will now go through the steps on how to change the two-piece system. Step 1. Wash your hands with soap and dry it with a clean towel before changing the bag to prevent infection. Step 2. Gather all the equipment required. Step 3. Remove the base plate by peeling from the top to the bottom with one hand pressing against the skin. Step 4. Throw away the soy bag. If you wish to reuse the bag, wash it with soap and water and let it dry before using the bag again. Step 5. Clean the stoma and surrounding skin with paper towel wet with tap water. Remember to clear off any bodily fluid, stools and adhesive stains. Then, use a fresh paper towel to dry the stoma and its surrounding skin. Be gentle when cleaning as your stoma can bleed easily. Do not apply oil, cream or powder around the stoma area unless recommended by your doctor or nurse. You should take this time to check the stoma and ensure that it's moist, red and shiny. Please contact your stoma nurse if you experience bleeding at the stoma, rashes or skin erosion on its surrounding skin. Step 6. Measure the stoma with sample template to check if it has shrunk. Step 7. Place the template on the protective backing of the base plate. Step 8. Using the template as a guide, trace the pattern according to the size of the stoma using a marker pen. Take note that if the stoma has shrunk, draw a smaller pattern accordingly. Step 9. Cut the base plate according to the drawn pattern. Step 10. Smoothen the cut edges with your finger. Step 11. Check the size of the cutting. Ensure that the cut hole is approximately 3mm larger than your stoma. Step 12. Remove the protective packing from the base plate. Do not throw the packing away as it will serve as your template for the next change. Step 13. Apply stoma paste or stoma ring evenly around the cut hole. Alternatively, you can apply the stoma ring around the stoma. Step 14. Place the base plate gently onto the skin and ensure that it sticks well. Step 15. Dust some stoma powder around the stoma. Step 16. Ensure that the bag is fitted securely onto the base plate at 45 degrees for bed bound patients or facing downwards for patients who can empty the bag themselves. Step 17. Close the lock ring, you will hear a click sound when it is locked. Step 18. Close the opening by flipping the foam upwards twice. Step 19. Seal the outlet by folding the hook ears onto the velcro plate and press firmly. Step 20. Remember to wash your hands with soap after you have changed the stoma bag. Next, we will run through the steps on how to empty your stoma bag. Step 1. Position yourself comfortably. You may either sit or stand. Step 2. Lift both hook ears of the velcro plate. Step 3. Unfold the outlet and face the opening of the stoma bag down to drain out the stools into plastic bag or toilet bowl. Step 4. Clean the outlet with paper towel wet with tap water. Then fold back the outlet after dabbing it dry with fresh paper towel. Step 5. Wash your hands with soap after you have emptied the stoma bag. Remember to empty your stoma bag once it is one third full and before going to bed. Here are some tips to ensure your stoma is kept in good condition at all times. Do not pour water into the stoma bag for washing while attached on body. Bathe either with or without the stoma appliances attached to the body. Place a cushion to protect your stoma when wearing a seat belt. When you are going out, it will be good to bring along some extra appliances. We hope this video has been a useful guide on how to care for your two-piece system stoma bag. 
If you have any more questions regarding stoma care, do check out the videos or NUH website by clicking on the link in the description box below or talk to your healthcare provider. Thank you and goodbye!